Hi, Shiva here. Hope you had a great week. I'm very happy and excited to be back with yet another Monday motivational story. This is the ninth story in the series in which I am presenting the motivational stories drawn from the scriptures. If you like stories from the scriptures, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon there so that you get notified and you don't get to miss the opportunity of seeing them. Right? Let me begin today's motivational story asking a question. Does mother's love have the ability to bind the God? It's possible. It is possible. Listen to this story. Lord Krishna's childhood was spent in the home of his foster parents, Nanda Baba and Ashoda Ma, in the village of Gokul. Lord Krishna spent his time happily there, playing with the gopis, his friends, and the cows. He always loved roaming around in those beautiful forests of Vrindavan. But he was a very mischievous kid as a child. And he was very fond of eating butter. So one day Krishna broke the pot of butter and started eating that. Not only that, he was also feeding it to the monkeys. Ishoda Ma saw the broken pot and thought it must be the work of Krishna. Fed up with this work of Krishna and also several of the complaints received from her neighbors about Krishna's pranks and mischievous deeds, she decided to tie him up so that he would not move around and indulge in such deeds. But how could she chase him? How could she tie him up when he was not an ordinary child? But it was possible. It was possible when Yeshwadama started chasing him, Krishna became compassionate because of her love for him. He did not want to trouble his mother. And he allowed himself to be caught and tied. So Shodama caught him and tied a rope around his belly to a wooden mortar. And there is a reason why he is called Damodara. Damodara. The words Dhamma and Udara. Dhamma means the cord rope. Udara means belly. Damodara means one who is tied around his belly with a rope. According to Srimad Bhagavatam, Radharani, having understood this, how Krishna surrenders himself with that kind of mother's love, she also wanted to express a similar kind of love for him so that she could also bind him. So during the month of Kartika Masam, one day Krishna turned up late for a rendezvous, a meeting with Radharani. So taking that opportunity, Radharani, in that loving anger, she took a rope and tied Krishna around his belly. And Krishna again allowed her to do that. And thus, Radharani's desire of tying Krishna with a rope was fulfilled. Krishna is a supreme giver. He blesses his devotees. He takes good care of his devotees. But the kind of benediction that he bestowed upon Ishodama and Radharani was of the highest order. That is because of their pure love for him. The God even surrendered when that kind of mother's love was shown to him. Yes, God can be tied with mother's love, with pure love, because he loves it. How about we, the humans? We are not alien to love. We also love to be loved. Everyone loves to be loved. 
be it your colleagues at your office be it your family members at home be it anybody everybody loves to be loved and with love you can win the hearts of the people because it is a love that can pierce into the hearts of the people and melt them but more importantly that kind of mother's love is very powerful because mother's love is the purest of all it's unconditional and it is the best of all so with pure love and the love of a mother you can win the hearts of the people love love your family members love your colleagues love your neighbors love the nation love the work you are doing but remember loving yourself is also important and learn to love yourself more and more from today will you learn yourself more and more from today yes or yes yes thank you nice talking to you and we'll be back with another monday motivational story next monday till the time take good care of yourself stay happy and stay healthy remember you are awesome thank you bye bye